Welcome to the Zix TV. I am the Zix. And we're going to have a quick look at the X Wing and TIE Fighter and Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Micro Galaxy Squadron. Some of that. Some of that old fashioned Star Wars fun here at the Zix TV. I got the X Wing here. I got the TIE Fighter. I got Darth Vader. This is the packaging that they come in. They don't give you a, well, it, it's back there and you got to tear the packaging off of it. It's just some TIE Fighters. And this would be... Luke Skywalker's X-Wing with Luke Skywalker and R2-D2. And it's the launch edition. There's a battle scene. Darth Vader came in a, I think this is Darth Vader, oh this is the TIE Fighter, where's Darth Vader, oh well, let's look at the TIE Fighter, TIE Fighter, TIE Fighter came in this one, I believe when I opened it up, Yeah, he came right out of there. As opposed to the others that had those, uh, had difficulties with the X Wing. Getting him out of there, his packaging. And again, I don't want to break the toy just getting it out of the packaging, so. Maybe I'm too gentle with these, I don't know. There's the, we got some uh, Star Destroyer above and TIE Fighters. And an X-Wing down there. And Darth Vader, this would be Darth Vader. Darth Vader's TIE Advanced Micro Galaxy Squadron. By Jazzwares, and this is the launch edition as well. Yeah. Slightly different. Uh, Star Destroyer above, TIE Fighters, and X Wing. There's Darth Vader. This one didn't have a picture on the side. Alright, let's get to the stuff here. We got the X Wing. These are kind of small. The Action Fleet ones from uh, the 90s and 2000s were a lot bigger. A lot bigger than these are. So, there's the X-Wing. These are... A little flexible and we can close it and the center part gets 
it's off kilter and we have to reset that. They don't quite close all the way. And he's got his landing gears. And this landing gear has the underside of the ship on the front. There's R2-D2 and I believe there's a... Yeah, we can push him out. There's a that thing. Push on that. These lower engines aren't as long as the top ones. I've seen this phenomenon in a lot of Star Wars toys. Sometimes the engines are the same length and sometimes it's like this I guess it depends on the manufacturer and their interpretation of what the X-Wing is but I, I've seen it I've seen it both ways quite a bit so let's Let's go in for a close-up on this one. We'll, we'll want to have a look at Luke and his cockpit there. So let's go in for a quick close-up. Okay, are we focused correctly? Can we see this guy? There's Luke in the cockpit there. Here's some of the details. Let me go around to the other side for you. And the landing gear is underneath. have a look at some more of the X-Wing. They put a lot of um, discoloring on the bottom there. Watercolor wash. And there's our landing gears. It's got some red there. <laughs> That's cute. Up again. 
And that is the X-Wing. Oh, we got some wash in there. Nice rendition of the X-Wing. We'll finish my opening. If I can get it. We'll finish how we started looking at Luke there. Okay. Let's push R2D2 all the way down. Get our landing gears out. this much problems with them the first time I brought them out. I got it. Man, that was difficult. And this one here. Oh, that's not difficult. There. There's our X-Wing. Let's have a look at the TIE Fighter. Um, TIE Fighters usually, there isn't much to say about them. They usually don't do much, but in this case, you can take the solar panels off. with some effort. And there's a button underneath that you can push to get our pilot out. There's nothing really to see in there except a chair. I don't have a use for action figures this small, micro figures this small, other than just chucking them in the cockpit and that'll be it. And which way does this open? Copying off of what Galoob did with their Action Fleet TIE Fighter has a similar function on it. These are not interchangeable due to how the hole is shaped. So, don't know why. Don't know why they did it that way, but there it is. So we can take our TIE Fighter apart 
I suppose if you were doing um like uh, stop motion battle scene you could take it off and somehow pose it so that a laser hit it and it, it, it's you know the TIE fighter is being destroyed it, it's solar panel is popping off or both I suppose if you were doing that for YouTube that would actually be pretty cool cool thing to see so there is our TIE fighter and here's Darth Vader this is Darth Vader's cape he came with his cape fits on his back but I put him how do I get this one open I put him in there unfortunately you can't have him in there in the cape at the same time so he's he's in the cockpit of his fighter and you can take these wings off and these are not you can't change them out either I don't know why this one has a different well that came off a bit easy came off a bit easier We can see some of the interior, I guess the engines. So there's a few things you can do with it. If you wanted this ship to get blasted apart, you could take the wing, wing off. I can't get it off. Each side has a different pattern of, uh, stuff that fits inside stuff And that is the smaller vehicles, the, the space fighters in this Star Wars series, Micro Galaxy Squadron. 
not much to say about these. The X-Wing is pretty cool. Um, uh, I think these are overpriced for what they are. Uh, clocking in, it's $17 on the, uh, the base price. The Millennium Falcon was 45 which is way too much for what it is with all those problems. Um, I don't know how much Boba Fett's Starship costs because I got it on eBay for a reasonable price. Um... These I got at Amazon. No, just just Luke and Darth I got on Amazon. They didn't have the TIE Fighter. So I had to go shopping on eBay for a TIE Fighter. Got one for $20. The TIE Fighter was more expensive than... than uh, although you add tax at Amazon and that adds... A little bit to it but 17 versus $20 and $20 for a TIE fighter and that's that's pretty much the going rate these days on these things um you might be able to find one cheap and if you can that's great build up an army of TIE fighters and make that uh Make that film for me to watch. Let's get in there and you do it. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I'm sorry about that cough. So, that'll do it for, for this video. Just having a quick look at some Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron. Starships by uh, Jazzwares. These are all made of the stiff modeling plastic, not ABS plastic. At least they, they don't feel like ABS plastic, they feel like stiff modeling plastic. Check out, check out Darth Vader. Yeah, it's got that, it's got that feel to it. So that'll be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you for joining me here at the Zix TV. As we have a quick look at two Tie Fighters and an X-wing, and. That's all I'm going to get from the launch series edition. Um, maybe I'll get Obi-Wan's Starfighter or the ATST. I don't know. But uh, they're hard to find on, on eBay. And. Um, if I pick them up, I'll let you know with, with a new video. So, th that'll be it for this vid. Uh, these three vehicles here. Nice X-Wing. They're kind of small. The, uh, Action Fleet, which this is, uh, trying to be like, the Action Fleet ones were much larger. But, uh, I guess they decided to go small on these. So that'll be it for this video. Thank you for joining me here at the Zix TV. Hope you enjoyed watching. 
Thank you for watching Zix TV.